hey hello friends hello everyone hello to all my subscribers all my returning subscribers all those of you that are discovering this channel for the first time today i say you are welcome today i'm making a very quick uh, tutorials on this headband headband that you are seeing rolling i came across it somebody was just asking a question on it on my whatsapp page so i chose to like just make a video on it so that it can cover every aspect of the question that anybody might want to ask so i would be using the crillone these are um, three inches crillone or four inches you know there's four inches crillone there's three inches there is a uh, six inches the six inches is soft but the three inches and four inches they are strong and if you go to the market please insist they give you a strong one some of these three inches and four inches they are not as strong as you would want it so you have to like check and see that they are very strong all right so what i did was to cut out two pieces of it that is i used the tiny head band to to make it so i just like use the measurement just roll the crillone on the body to see the length i would need and then i cut out two of that length that i would need now here is the reason why i have to cut out two i want it to be firm i want it to be strong so i don't want to because we are going to be placing some stones and designs on it so there is need for you to like double it so when i double mine what i did was to take it to my sewing machine and then i just run the four corners that is i sew it with my sewing machine i run the four corners so if you are not uh sewing it with a sewing machine i think another thing you can do is to just apply the e7000 glue and then then fix it together allow it to dry it will stay all right so that all right so please so when you sew it we will not bring the headband and then attach the crillone to it to attach the crillone to the headband uh you will need to use your needle and thread and create a little bit of loose stitches that will help you to uh, pull it together so you pull it together with that hmm? So, like I was saying, we are going to tie the edges, the two edges, to the headband. We tie it. Make sure it's firmly tied. Um, I don't uh, want to use the option of using um, uh, what they call this bias to wrap it. If you tie it properly with your thread, make sure that the thread is thick. That will be enough. So, you don't need to uh, use extra uh bias to tie then another thing is you want to rest it on the headband on the headband so that it will be smooth on it you will start by applying uh uhu glue on the lines of the headband you, you will apply the uhu glue on the lines of the headband then you rest the crillone on it make sure that it is uh, centralized that is at the middle so that there will be no shift to one side one side should not be uh, um, higher or longer than the other so as much as possible it is necessary that you identify the middle of the crillone and rest that middle so you can see what i've done i i started by tying the first part and then rest it on the headband remember it's a tiny headband i rest it on it then i'm tying the final part so if you tie it the way i am tying now there's going to be the probability of this um crillone causing some kind of discomfort especially where it's going to touch your body so because of that you will need to do a little uh, work that will help you to take care of that aspect so you first start by 
tying properly tie properly with the thread and any color of the crillone you are using use same uh, thread uh, color so that um, your work will not be rough huh? work with black let it be black you work with a uh, white let the thread be white and all of that so after tying it and then i'll trim off every excess part that i know can actually touch any part of the body and cause kind of a discomfort then i'll trim it off after trimming it off it will still uh, be able to cause some kind of discomfort still so we are going to get um lighter we're going to get lighter so if you don't have lighter you can work with candle so we get lighter and then burn the edge allow it to burn a little and then use your hands to close it up that is burn it a little smoke it a little and then use your hands to smooth it so that that part will not become a uh, blunt so it's not going to be able to cause any form of discomfort to anyone to your client or to yourself in case you are the one wearing it and once you are able to do this this job is done because the next thing that would be left would just be how do you want it how do you want to design it so i would be using a good glitter so you can work with any color of choice any choice of your glitter but i just say well because it's black i think i'll prefer to do a good design but even when you do a silver design it's going to be very fine so when you are doing it you can actually make this a leaf design that is you use your glitter to form the lines of a leaf on it and then add stones but what i did i did not actually form uh the leaf design on it i just like line all sides the part where i sew the middle itself that will help me to hide the uh head band in it and then the two sides i also apply it and what i used in applying it is e7000 uh, glue the reason i use that i do not advise that you use uh hot glue for this project the reason is that you know when the hot glue cools down that is when it becomes cold you are going to be seeing the whitish uh, substance from it and underneath this headband now will not be neat but if you use this uh, e7000 or uhu glue or even e6000 they are all liquid uh, glue they are all liquid glue so if you use any form of such liquid glue it has a way of being transparent and you will not see the part where the glue is resting so i just work with uh, e7000 glue uh -huh. so your design your design is your choice so whatever you want to create out of this headband after sitting your crillone on the headband is your choice all right so what i did was i used some form of patches patches from those type of patches you put on clothes so i just trim some of it out and they get some of these um, fabric stones and then i just use the e uh, 7000 glue to glue it to the head band and that was all it came out very well if you like you can uh, attach elastic at the bottom but i did not do that because it's going to sit properly the way it is already all right so thank you very much for stopping by creative events international today so i will see you in my next video but before i will go if today happens to be the first time you are discovering this channel please do not leave without subscribing to the channel yes and another thing is please help me to hit on the like uh icon if you really like the video mm? and so because that will help other persons to be able to discover it so just like it for me please thank you very very much thank you so much don't forget to drop comments on the comment section especially if you think that you are not clear enough with these uh, explanations here 
you can drop your comment on the comment section i'll do well to reply you whenever i see it so for now ah uh, it will be bye from my end this video is very quick and short and of course you can replicate it you can do something even looking uh, better all i'm interested in is just showing you the concept so that you don't get confused some persons were asking me is there anything added or is it only criloni so i just have to like come up with it so that you see it and be very certain that okay this is what uh you use and you can do it all right so from my end i just want to say goodbye thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye